All right, so this is the last part, and it's part four. And we've got the assembly taken care of. We've got the back panel, the sides, the bottom, the top, the door assembly, which includes a glass window, but you can't select it because it's transparent. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to make it look a little bit better. And uh, we'll do a quick rendering. So um, the first thing we should do is pick a material. So we're going to go ahead and appearances. And we're going to do the body. And we will select organic wood. And there's a lot of options here. It's mahogany. And we'll do polished mahogany. We'll do that. Let's see, I can't do it more than one at a time. Okay. Do the side, and we'll do again organic wood mahogany. Try select two this time. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so now we've got a mahogany cabinet. That actually looks a lot better. Hit uh, Control S and save everything, and we'll rebuild the document. Uh, Control 7 for the isometric. And then, let's see. We've got office products, and this may only be available if you've got the highest tier of SolidWorks available. Um, but there's the PhotoView 360, which activates the render tools. And you've got the integrated, the preview, the final render, and then the options for it. So. Integrated preview takes up a lot of power on your computer, but it actually does like a live rendering for it. And a pop-up came up that says for more realistic rendering, we recommend that you switch perspective or to this perspective view, um, which will be up here. So I'll just hit OK, and we'll do view perspective. And it'll get pixely, but it'll sharpen up in a little bit. Uh, integrated preview looks nice, but you should only really do that if you have enough power for it. Um, I generally don't have enough power for that, so I don't use it very often, so I'm going to switch that off. And I don't yet have the shelves in there, but that's okay, because I'm going to add the shelves at a later time anyway. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit Options. And this will show you all the options for the rendering. So we want the final render quality to be maximum. And we'll hit check on that. And then I can do a three point fade, plain white, soft spotlight if it's in a courtyard. Uh, these are just kind of different backgrounds. I tend not to mess with those very often. Turn on shadows and shaded mode and ambient occlusion. And then I'll hit final render and wait. Um, I'll just go ahead and let the video skip to the end because the final render could take a long time. Alright, so that took about 7 minutes and 15 seconds to render. My last computer couldn't do this in 2 days, I don't feel like. Um, but that's basically it for the videos. Um, thanks for watching.